Um, I've got some questions about the Department's oversight of Air Services Australia. Um, can I ask firstly, is the Department in receipt of a number of complaints about a failure to provide regulatory oversight for Air Services Australia? Senator Marie's Purpose, Deputy Secretary of Transport. Uh, we have received a number of complaints. Thank you. Um, how many have you received? Mm. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I'll just see if there's anybody else who might be able to help right. you. Thank you. Perhaps in the last 12 months, if you're able, or something. Any, in the last 12 months? Yeah. We would have to take that on notice. Okay. Uh, do you have any data about the number of complaints that are currently on hand? Uh, I, I don't. I'm just seeing if anybody else Thank does, please. Uh, Senator Richard Wood, First Assistant Secretary of International Aviation Technology and Services. I think I do have some information in relation to that. Might not go to the full um, uh, to the full question. These um, complaints go in through the department's uh, client services area, uh, which was in our in our corporate area. Um, uh, however, I can tell you I found the um, the information. Uh, there were 1,404 campaign complaint emails. It was a standard email sent as a, um, a complaint um, from the 10th of uh, 10th of June last year. Um, from between from the 10th, sorry, 10th of June between the 10th of June and the 8th of September last year, and then between the 16th of November and the 12th of December last year, there were an additional 117 emails. Oh, sorry, could you just repeat that last bit, Mr Wood? Uh, an additional 117 emails. So there was uh, 1,404 between the 10th of June and the 8th of September and then a further 117 between the 16th of November and the 12th of December? Uh, that, that's right, Senator. Thank you. Um, and did you say those, these were... Um, did you call them campaign emails? Uh, it, it was a standard, um, standard set of words, effectively identically um, set in, um, and I think it was through the um, Brisbane, Brisbane Airport Community Group. All right. So, so, in general terms, what's the substance of those complaints, uh, Senator? The substance um, they indicated a lack of regulatory oversight by the department. A lack now, of regulatory oversight was the, the words that you use and was um, characterised in that AML complaint. Now, the department, I should be clear, does not actually regulate air services. It's not to say we don't have um, strong engagement with them, but we do not actually regulate air services. All right. OK, so how's the department responded to those complaints? Uh, Senator, a, um, a uh, response has been provided to... Um, many of those, that first tranche of the 1,404, I believe, a response was sent to those. It wasn't through my area, um, but uh, indicated a response, but the, one, the more recent ones were not responded to. Uh, all right, and was that response the same response that was sent to all of those 1,400 odd? Uh, Senator, I, I think broadly, yes. I, I wouldn't want to give, be 100 per cent sure there weren't some minor differences, but I think essentially. The, all right, the thank you. And and I'm sorry, Mr Wood, did you say that there's not yet been a response to the second tranche of emails, the 107? Uh, I believe they were filed with no further action. They were filed? Sorry, uh, I think they were put on file without a, um, without a further response. I'm sorry, is this the, so I'm sorry, Mr Wood, this is no reflection on you. I'm just wondering, mm. yeah, Chair, colleagues. if we can oh, just... Colleagues. Colleagues. Oh, I can't hear the witnesses. Yeah. Um, thank you. Mr Wood, could, do you mind repeating that last... That last answer, please. Sorry, my, my understanding, Senator, um, and recognising these didn't come from my specific area, uh, we responded to the, the department re received and provided a formal response to the, the initial tranche of 1,404 emails, and then the second tranche of 117 emails um, were not responded to. They were okay. placed on file. Um, uh, do you intend to respond to those 117? Uh, I would need to take that on notice. It's not in my direct area of responsibility, Senator. OK. It wouldn't be unreasonable for people who make a complaint to get some kind of response from the department, though, would it? Uh, I, um, uh, potentially, yes. I suspect in this instance that many of these responses would be multiple responses from the same individual, so you wouldn't necessarily respond to the um, same person on multiple occasions. All right. So has the department recently shut down 
the email address that was used to lodge some or all of these complaints? Uh, that's that's Senator, the, the email client service at infrastructure.gov. Yeah, right? Senator, um, I, I can give some broader answers, but um, I'm, this is not an area of my direct responsibility. It's through the, uh, the client services area of the department, which falls in the corporate division who were on earlier today. There was a change in process um, moving from, as I understand it, from an email-based system to a web-based system, so a form that um, people submit as opposed to a, an email. So it's a different way of handling information. Understood. And, and so there is still um, an internet-based opportunity for people to, to make complaints of this nature um, to the department if they wish? I believe so, yes, sir. And that's, that's a web form rather than an email address? Um, um, I, yes, that is my understanding, as I yeah, indicated. That's I'd like to um, give a definitive answer. All right. And um, have have any – that 117, were they received by email or were they received on the web form? Are you aware of – whether uh, the change in the, inf the information I have is that they were sent by email. By email, okay. Um, so, are you aware of whether any complaints have been have come in through the web form since since the process for lodging complaints was changed? Uh, I don't have that information, Senator. I'm not sure if others oh. may. And because it's not Mr. Woods' area, if there is anything he said which we won't need to correct, we'll do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, uh, in, <coughs> Mr Wood, I understand this is not your area. I, I presume you don't have um, a version of the response that was provided to those complaints? I mean, was a, were, were the complaints upheld or um, what action did the department take apart from, um, resp apart from replying to the, to the complainants? Did the department do anything else to address the concerns that were raised by um, community members? Uh, Senator, um, the issues around Brisbane Airport noise are outside of my direct area of responsibility and the department has been engaging um, on those issues with their services and with the community um, that others may um, have more to, to add. Uh, the response that was provided on this issue essentially outlined the roles and responsibilities that the department has in relation to these issues and in relation to air services. All right. And in terms, Mr. Wood, um, in terms of the department's engagement with air services mm -hmm. on these kind of issues, what, how would you categorise that? Uh, Senator, I, I might um, uh, refer to colleagues if they want to talk about our engagement on Brisbane Airport noise issues specifically uh, in terms of engagement with air services on issues more generally. Uh, we have um, a significant um, uh, range of engagements with, um, with air services both on a formal and informal basis at CEO level, senior executive level and on individual policy issues. All right. Well, you've said you don't regulate um, air services, that was your evidence earlier. So um, what, what role does the department play in, in its liaison with air services over issues like um, airport noise? Um, yes, Senator, we, well, departments, uh, sorry, Air Services, as an, the Board of Air Services is the accountable authority. The department provides advice to the Minister in, uh, on, uh, in relation to air services. In particular, Air Services provides a quarterly report to the Minister and we would typically provide advice in relation to its performances outlined in that uh, report. There may be advice in relation to specific issues as well. Uh, and we also uh, engage uh, closely with uh, air services, noting that they are the account the board of air services is the accountable authority on ourselves. All right. um, thanks. I might put some questions in on notice, um, specifically in regards to any advice the department's provided in relation to um, the Brisbane Airport and also the Hobart Airport. Um, but Ms. Ms. Purvis Smith, can I ask you? Have you? received personally complaints um, in regards to a, an alleged failure of the department to provide regulatory oversight for air services for, for air services Australia since the email address was <coughs> closed I have received those emails uh, apparently since the email address has closed I 
was not aware that the email address had closed. Oh, OK. And um, how, would you be able to inform the committee how many emails you've received? Uh, difficult of that, of that nature. to say. I think I've probably received two types. Uh, uh, received what, sorry? Two different types okay. of emails. One that of, of the nature that we have been talking about now, that is the letter uh, that goes through the issues that is the same. I would have to get back to you, I don't want to mislead, but possibly around uh, 30. Uh, and then I've received some other emails just from individuals uh, just around what, what flights are flying over their houses at particular times, probably another 30 of those. And what but I, but I, I can take that on notice for you and, and give you the exact numbers if you like. All right. And, and how do you re do you reply to those emails or do you send them to our services? So I, uh, no, so they were, my understanding from what I've seen in the emails, they were already sent to air services, oh. so air services do reply. Uh, and I also uh, send them down into the relevant part of the department uh, that is, uh, that deals with such, okay, such issues. Senator McKim, do you have many more? No, I'm, I'm You're done? Okay, thanks. So 